All right, hey guys, Stephen Kwan here, and I'm at Juniper's NextWorks Conference 2018 here in Las Vegas. I'm here with Juniper fellow ambassador Jeff Fry, and he works at Dimension Data, right? Um, and we look like we've got sort of like a low battery signal on my, so hopefully we can make it through the next five minutes and, and film this here. But uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. You work at Dimension Data. Uh, what kind of stuff do you do at Dimension? I work in professional services, so I'm dealing with end customers doing mainly Juniper type deployments okay. or Cisco Juniper integration deployments. Okay. Because I do have my Cisco CCIE, and I'm also fluent in Juniper, so I'm able to Very cool. do some of the integration that tends to give single vendor engineers a little bit of a yeah, challenge. Yeah, you're probably those that kind of engineer that's more sought after because you can speak both worlds a little bit about the Cisco, you, you know, the Juniper stuff, and yeah. um, can help your your company navigate. Uh, yep. So Dimension Data is a reseller, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you probably are working with a lot of your customers. Yeah. I'm um, professional services. I usually wind up showing up after the sale. Okay. So it's All right. After the sales guys have promised the impossible, I get to deliver the impossible. Always, an, always a fun job. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So how long have you been a Juniper ambassador? Been a Juniper ambassador. Probably four or five years now. Okay. Been a while. You were probably one of the originals then. I, after the first batch, I mean. I missed the first networkers here, so that was what four years ago, right? Because of some okay. surgery issues and knee surgery. But I was an ambassador before that, so it's about four or five years. Very ago. cool. And you also, as part of being an ambassador, you just recently contributed to the uh, Juniper 2018 Juniper Ambassadors Cookbook. Is yeah. that correct? We yeah. did the Juniper Ambassador Cookbook this year. I contributed a chapter on um, doing DHCP on the EX4300. Okay. Since I saw a lot of people online talking about the challenges of transitioning from the old 2200, 4200 code DHCP to the 4300 it's, code DHCP. I'm not familiar. Um, is there some big difference yeah, in syntax or something like that? It's a like complete that? difference. Because they went to the ELS software and the newest switches. And Enhanced layer two switching yeah, correct. of ELS software. Okay, so the syntax is a little bit different and just sort of where you configure things. Yeah, it went from being under system, under act to access, and so it all got it's moved a, around. It, instead of VLANs, is it bridge domains? Or yep, I, it's IRBs okay. now instead of VLAN interfaces. Yeah, okay, so all that gotcha. Changed. Yeah, all right. So so you have a chapter on that. Yes. Um, so anybody that's sort of making a migration from like the legacy, I shouldn't say legacy, 2300s or 40. 2300s or 3300s jumping up to 4300s. 22, the old 22s. The older, so and the legacy. So yeah. truly the legacy. Yeah, the okay. legacy stuff. So that, anything with the two on the end. Yeah. Of it. So the 200s, 4200s, 3200s, or 2200s. Correct. Yeah. Moving to the newer. The 33s gotcha. and the 43s and okay. everything else, yeah. Okay, we're, we're on the change. same page now. I yeah, so there was a big change in configuration code for a lot okay. of people, so that was. Cool. I I contribute to try to help people. So if anybody wants to check that out, you can download the Juniper uh, Ambassadors Cookbook for 2018. It's a free download on uh, JNet. Um, I think you might be able to pull that off of like Amazon or something Yep, I think well. they have some printed copies on Amazon as well. Um, and so, you know, before we sort of transition here, and, and, um, why don't you just tell us a little bit about what you like to do on your free time, like back home and stuff. Well, free time back home is, I got three boys at home, so free time okay. kind of gets to be a challenging sometime because it's usually doing what the kids want to do or okay. what the wife wants to do. When you're in this field, you tend to work different hours sometimes, not always the uh, most appropriate hours for family right. life, so it's dealing yeah. with them. But recently, we're, kids have gotten a large aquarium, 65-gallon tanks. They're not huge, but trying to help them with that and they've gotten some interest in that. So Is it it's fresh water or yeah, salt water? Fresh okay. water this time. Okay, salt water can be difficult, I know, with yeah. the time, but fresh but fresh water can be just as, it can be hard as well. Yeah, I, but sixty five gallon I think that makes it a little bit easier because with the smaller tanks, any small change in the environment quick. really happens quickly. Just like a network. Small networks tend to crash quicker than bigger Very networks. Cool. But when big ones crash, they crash spectacularly. Which reminds me. So, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, so, I mean, we're obviously here at NextWorks Conference, yes. and you're talking about, you know, just like big networks. <laughs> Is there anything here that you've learned at this conference that really has excited you, that you're, like, ex you know, interested in taking back home with you to sort of adopt inside your, you know, inside your customer base? Yeah, I mean, the one thing that's to, I've really sort of embraced, especially the past 12 months, I've really started to push myself doing more DevOps development, Python, Ansible, scripting. Um, I helped with the JNCA cloud test a while ago. 
So sitting some of those sessions. So you helped develop that? I helped with some of the questioning. Oh, that's the cool. NBA, okay. So. I took that. Yeah, it was a good exam. It was, a, it was fun. It was a really interesting learning experience pattern. Yep. What goes into that? It's I have a whole new level of respect for those exams. Right. It's before they were just a test. Now it's like, okay, I understand the people behind it now. But from here, though, it's more of the development, doing the five steps automation, trying to understand how to start and get to the five steps to finally being able to do everything in continuous improvement, continuous deployments, getting to all that and helping customers do that. Very cool. Because it's something everybody wants to get to, but it's how do you get there? So definitely getting more inspired about learning more about that and getting more into that. You are not the first person I've interviewed that's talked about how important sort of this whole DevOps, you know, uh, learning how to integrate that and automation into their skill set oh, and how important that is. It's huge. I've had a customer where we had to move 28 plus sites to a new VPN concentrator and versus logging into each one individually, you can write an automation script to log into devices, push the config, check the status, is it reconfigured? Okay, give me the okay report and we're done in 10 minutes. That's very cool. It's awesome. Versus a couple hours. Well, thanks, Jeff. Let, let's uh, before we wrap up, can you share with uh, the audience like maybe where they can follow you on social media? I mean, especially keeping up with uh, like your your writing projects and yeah. those types of things. Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at fryguy underscore pa, and I tend to occasionally blog. And I need to get better at it at fryguy.net. Fryguy, I've I've seen your blog. You've got some good stuff up there. Yeah. I, I need to do the same. I have not really been touching my blog much lately. I'm actually trying to do more video, but. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thanks so much, Thank Jeff. You. It's been a real pleasure getting Thank to know you. you and spending time with uh, the rest of the ambassador team. And we both, uh, I can say, uh, look forward to seeing all of you guys next year at Juniper's NextWorks uh, 2019 conference, which incidentally is going to be right back here in sunny Las Vegas. Yes. So we will see you guys next year in November. <laughs>